Hello, everybody, and welcome to my backyard. Hey, hey, we're not in your backyard. Oh, yeah, we're in a Nell video. Yeah, we're inside. We're trapped in the cyberverse. Whoa, you must be Sherlock Holmes if you figured that out. Yep, 100%. She's a detective, and we're doing Detective Pikachu Nells. <laughs> you are correct. Welcome, everybody. We hope you guys are here to enjoy the crap out of yourselves, because you will. Uh, this video is going to be a little different than the other ones that we've posted because we're doing a full set and the way that I do full sets is kind of, I kind of jump around and I'll do one nail and the other nail and another nail. So it's just, a, a circus. It's a bunch of hullabaloo, you guys. But it makes time go by so fast. It does. So. It very much does. If you have a less skilled hand model, this is the way to do it. But since I'm so skilled, we could do it either way. Or you could just do it this way because it's better for the nail tech. <laughs> but is it better for the video? Let us know what you guys think below after you've watched the video. Exactly. Or if you even notice a difference or if you care, let us know. We would like to know. Yeah, we need to know if you guys like full sets or more time spent on a single portrait mm -hmm. or a single style of nail. Come on. What's that saying? Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody has one. We want to know about your butthole. Girls, girls don't have them. <laughs> just kidding. And we don't want to know, but girls don't have buttholes, just so you know. <laughs> it's science. My dad told me that all grown up. Hmm. Well, I will neither confirm nor deny <laughs> your father's observation. observation. And according to the Pikachu movie, the Pokemon don't even look like they have buttholes, so. I've never noticed that before. Do any Pokemons have buttholes? I'm sure. How do they? An how anatomically, they probably do, but it's a kid's show, so they probably won't show oh, them. True. They show some pretty raunchy stuff in Pokemon. Have you ever, have you guys ever seen all the outtakes that didn't make it to American television? They're pretty funny. And the mangas are hardcore. The Pokemon. Are they? I haven't read them. Proper battle each other. Really? I'm pretty sure. Is there like blood and guts? A, I don't think there's blood and guts, oh. but I think I, Pokemon <laughs> decapitated another Pokemon. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not positive, but that's what <laughs> that's, it looked like in the manga. That's intense. But they're like, actually, and the big four seem not that good to me. Well, I'm going to pop in with a little nail tip. So you'll see me kind of, uh, I like to paint the edge of the nail with the brush going kind of backwards. You'll see me do that like, let's see, let me see, let me finish the cuticle, hurry up myself, right there. So I do that because that way I can get the edge of the nail so it's capped, but I do it that way so that, because uh, if you paint with the tip of the brush, sometimes you can, and you're painting like the original way you paint, the normal direction, then you can get it all over the hypernicium which is the nail that's right underneath the not the nail which is the skin right underneath the tip of the nail um so basically it can just like get everywhere if you don't do it so that's my little technique tip babe no big words stop learning me stuff i like to learn people stuff and also if you noticed on this brown nail it was kind of filed off because i had done two coats like i was going to do normally but then i decided i was going to do glitter so then i filed it off because if you do glitter on top of two coats of color and then also put all the the ceiling layer on top of that then it'll just make it like 12 years thick i don't know if things can be years thick but it would be they can now <laughs> and thick nails are no bueno because exactly. they look gross they feel gross i mean some people like that and to each their own but it's I don't so like hard it. to climb exactly and you'll see i'm kind of cleaning the cuticle free of the glitter specks because if you because I put down a layer of hard gel, and then I sprinkled the glitter on top of it. And then before I cured it, I cleaned the cuticle with that little uh, fan brush that I had, as well as the little cuticle cleaner upper that I have, the pokey thing, the pokey metal thing. Because if you don't do that and you cure it, then there's a chance that those little glitter specks will cure into the cuticle area, and then you won't be able to have a clean looking cuticle. So, And you also just saw me spritz some alcohol on it, because my way of telling if the glitter is all flush and nice and soft is literally just cleaning the nail and feeling it with my own finger to feel if there's any like specks poking up so that's why i did that and then i still felt some specks poking up so then i did another layer of hard gel and for those of you guys wondering did he wear these sets to the movie this nail set to the T detective Pikachu movie it's true i did even you though did. this is coming out long after <laughs> that's just because i was slow at editing the video <laughs> but i wore these nails with pride. It was all on time. You were just late turning in the project. And everyone was so jealous of my nails. 
They were. Everybody loved your nails. And they were really cool because you, as you'll see at the end, we'll show you pictures of the full set. They were, I love that uh, brown glitter that we did because it's like a holographic one. So it shines all of the colors of the rainbows, but it's brown. It's beautiful. And every time people laughed during the movie and when they were smiling, walking out of the movie, it wasn't just because of the movie. It was because of my nails. They were laughing at your nails? That's not a no, good thing. No, because they were so happy. They were smiling. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Even the people who didn't see my nails and just saw the movie, they were happy because of my nails. Yeah. They just looked down from the movie and just looked at your nails for the entire entire rest of the movie. Even if they didn't <laughs> see the nails, they just knew. Oh, and another thing I was doing too, you'll kind of see, I did it on the first nail and I did it... Uh, so on the first nail, when I, when I did brown glitter, I was kind of patting it down with my finger. And with this one, I was kind of patting it down with fan brush. You could do it with either of them. But I do that so that there's less likelihood... That there's going to be a glitter standing vertical so instead of laying flat down onto the nail sometimes they just like stand straight up and those are really hard to encapsulate fully with hard gel or whatever you're putting on top of it because then you have to do like a million layers just to cover that one that happened to be vertical so if you push them down with whatever you feel like pushing it down with then curing it then it'll be a little bit easier to cover so it's not sticking straight up out of there and this is one of my favorite magnetic polishes. Um, it has like kind of a shift of a purple, red, copper kind of a color to a green kind of a color. It's really pretty. It is from the brand Wave Gel um, and they have a whole cat eyes uh, gel polish line. So I really like them. But we're not doing cat eyes, we're doing Pokemon. Yeah, but Sometimes you need a little cat eye in the background to shift cool things around. I don't even like cats, and I like this cat eye nail polish, so <laughs> you know it's good. <laughs> and just another fingertip instead of a pro nail tip <laughs> in the video right there. You can see my fingertips. I'll give you <laughs> ten of them. Oh, that was such a dad joke. And I'm not that. even a dad. <laughs> I'm way beyond my you're, ears. Exactly. You're way ahead of your time. <laughs> oh, also with encapsulating glitters like this, usually I like to kind of go in with a medium layer. So not too thin, but not too thick either. Sometimes if you go too thin, then you just, you're just going to have to do like a million layers. And so just save some time. But then also if you go too thick, then it can start to like flood the cuticles too quick. So just try to do it as quick as you can, kind of a medium thickness layer. All right, Goldilocks. It's, you got to get it right. Get it right, get it tight. That's a song somewhere from the, from the, from the thousands. Don't sing it. <laughs> I wasn't going to. I just, said, I just said nothing. I didn't even say lyrics. I didn't say anything. Otherwise, I might fall in love again. <laughs> You're silly. So I'm just writing Detective Pikachu on this nail, and you can't really see that I write the E, but I promise it's there. You'll see it in the pictures at the yeah, very end of the video. Yeah, you'll see it later. <laughs> and I hope you guys are watching with a keen eye to make sure she spells all these words right, because that would have been humiliating to walk around with misspelled words on my fingers. It would have been. It's almost as bad as a tattoo, but luckily not temporary. <laughs> it's not as bad as a tattoo, not at all. But if you got a misspelled tattoo, we still love you. Exactly. We just think your tattoo's funny. It's just a time in your life, and you can just look at it as a little memory. Nothing bad. Unless you have a, a really bad tattoo. Then we can't be friends. <laughs> no, we can. <laughs> you have lots of tattoos, babe. We can't. And they're all amazing. True. True. We should do a nail set Good inspired answer. by your tattoos. Just that your tattoos fun. on my nose. <gasps> that would be so cool. Then we'd be matching. Kind of, But yeah. you don't have to have the commitment. Yeah. <laughs> that, just the way I like it. <laughs> oh, that's good. All you Pokemon fans out, fans out there, let us know down below what your favorite Pokemon is. And what your favorite Pokemon game is. And Agreed. maybe we'll do a set themed with that Pokemon or that and, game. And who's excited for the new game? I am. Sword and Shield? Yes. Mm. I'm so stoked. Which one are you going to get? I can't decide. Well, have they even said what's the difference yet? They, they might have said, but and we I, may have missed it. And I really, really, really want the, what's it? Is it called the Score Bunny, I think? It's uh, like the Flamey Bunny. No idea. He is so freaking cute. 
I like him. How about you beat Pokemon Let's Go Eevee first? I like to not ever beat games and just continually play all games all at the same time. That's why she's playing like, Zelda, Witcher, and Pokemon. Yeah. And some DS games still. <laughs> and I still have a Game Boy Micro. Shout out Game Boy Micros. They're cute and easy to take on the go. I'm the exact opposite of you. I will 100% <laughs> complete my game. Upgrade. And then be done. <laughs> Never look back. But I will back. do everything as fast <laughs> as I can. Nope. I like to sit in the, in, in the waters for a while. That sounded kind of weird. Oh, well. They're n- nice wa- waters. They're happy Witcher Pokemon Skyrim waters. You need to finish the Witcher because Cyberpunk's coming out, yeah, and I do, I I'm do. so excited for that show. You are correct, and I do really like the Witcher. And you guys better bet. Actually, I don't know how to say that, but you guys should just know <laughs> that where you did a Cyberpunk set of nails. I don't yeah. even know what I was trying to say there. It's really beautiful. I think they got the gist of it. You guys will maybe poo your pants when you see that set. It's those are probably my favorite portraits I have ever painted on a nail. Not my favorite. Well, we weren't they talking were good, about your favorites. But we come were talking on. about my favorite. Those sir. soccer players you did that I can't name were pretty good. Why can't you name them? Because I don't know anything oh, can about I soccer. Name them? Well, you can name them. Oh, if I you, thought it was secret. Do you know their second. names? No, yeah. I don't know their names. It's Cristiano Ronaldo and oh, what's the other guy? Oh, Great. I already forgot the now other guy. Now you're picking favorites. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um. You really, really messed up this time. I did mess up. I can't remember the other guy's name. See, see why He's I didn't want to name one? Isn't oh, it Messi? Oh, man. Yeah, Lionel Messi. There you Come go. on. Thanks. See, you said you couldn't remember it. I you couldn't remember it. both, but you remembered the one I didn't remember. Well, anyways, those are his favorite, but they were not my favorite. I think sometimes I can just get hypercritical of myself. Where are my artists? You know what I'm talking about. One. You guys let us know if she did a good job, because I think they were awesome. Yeah, but they don't have the Maybe other we one. didn't post the other one. I think we did. But they don't have the new one to compare it to, so just wait. You just hold on. You just hold on to your seats. When Cyberpunk comes out, we'll release that video. Mm-hmm. Or maybe before, because I'm so excited for that game. I'm really excited for it, and I haven't even finished The Witcher. <laughs> I just like to say that. I think it irritates you. Keanu Reeves with one of the greatest developers of all times? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm it's going to be good. We should have done John Wick nails. I am stoked. Ooh, if you know the game and you know what we're talking about, then comment in the posts below if you because we did two different portraits so comment whose portraits you think we did if they can't guess then i win <laughs> I, actually i win either way <laughs> you silly guy pro tip and this just isn't my fingertip use that metal pointy thing to do your little dots it makes them look dotty do you want to know what it's called sure a daughter yeah they make those for nail techs and nail people and for mothers no, mothers make them for it? themselves. True. But I that was, was a mom That was joke. my attempt at <laughs> that joke. Wait, say it again, say it again. They make them for? They make them for the mothers. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> no, not thanks. I don't want your sympathy laughs. laughs. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> that was probably my favorite little part of his little hat is the little ribbon on the top. It's so cute. This now sets just amazing because we love Pokemon <laughs> and do. we love Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Wait, what's your favorite? And he was the voice of Detective Pikachu. Yes, it was a great, it was a great, it was all great, all around great. What's your favorite Pikachu though? What's my favorite Pikachu? I mean, um, wow. Let me think, uh, I meant to say, I was reading Pikachu because I'm watching the video. What's your favorite Pokemon? Eevee. <laughs> hey, it's the you t- just said that because, you know, I was going to say that. What's your favorite Pokemon? Well, I, it's a tie actually. It's between Eevee and Snorlax and Umbreon. Umbreon looks awesome. Uh, isn't that an Eevee? Yeah, but it's still different. Yeah, but my favorite Eevee is not the normal Eevee. I just don't know the name of it. What is? Which one is it? No idea, but it's... Which one does it look it's like? It's like tan and green. Tan and green? Yeah. Oh, is it like the grass one? Maybe. I, I think don't know. I know which one it looks about, awesome, I though. I can't remember the name because it's not my favorite. Snorlax is awesome, though. Snorlax little... straight G. Blocks yeah. the road and crap. He just does whatever he wants. He just sleeps everywhere. And you can throw a Pokeball at him and Pokemon Snap to get the best picture. <laughs> I love him. He's cute. Did I got you... a little fuzzy version of him from Japan from the Pokemon Center. Oh, that's heaven. It's heaven on Earth. Everyone should go there once in their life, especially if you like Pokemon. Did you even play Pokemon Snap? No, I don't know what that is. Oh, my God. They speed run that game. What is it? Pokemon Snap. Run? N64. What? Oh. Yeah, you don't know what a speedrun is? I didn't have is? an N64. We had a 
PlayStation and a PlayStation 2 and then a PlayStation 3, and that's why I have PlayStation yeah. 4 now. Yeah, I had all that, too. I'm a diehard Sony fan. I'm a diehard game well, fan. And I'm not biased. just had enough to buy one of the and systems. And I don't pick favorites. <laughs> that's the one we got, so beggars can't be All right, beggars. everyone. Leave a like, subscribe, let us know what you want to see in the future. Exactly, and thanks for coming and watching our video. I want to paint the very best nails there ever was. Look at these nails, they're so cool. I like to look all the time at all the art that I do. Look at there, there's a Pikachu. He's looking at your face.